Hello dear friends, hope you all are doing fine. In this video, you will get important multiple choice questions, MCQs on algae. Algae is an important topic of the subject botany. If you are a student of the school level, BSc level or MSc level and you are preparing for your examination, school exam, undergraduate exam, postgraduate exam or any of the entrance exam, then this video will be very helpful for you. So watch this video till end. Myself, Dr. Tripti Malika Huja, I am your guide, tutor and mentor for the subject Biology, Biological Sciences, Life Sciences and Microbiology. If you are new to the channel, then do subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon. In the playlist, you will find there are number of videos which will help you in the preparation of your exams. So before I start, I suggest you to take out a paper and a pen and make this table. In this video, we will discuss 15 important MCQs on the topic algae. I will read the, the question and then I will also read the options. There are four options in each question out of which one option is correct. You can mark your option whatever you think is correct A, B, C or D in the front of the question and then I will tell you the correct answer. You can match your answer with that of the correct answer and then you can mark it as correct or incorrect and I will also explain you the correct answer. At the end, you can calculate your score and you can see how well you are preparing for the exam. So now let's get started. The question number one. What is the shape of chloroplast in Clematomonas? Option A. Cup shaped B. Spiral C. Stellate and D. Collar shaped Clematomonas belongs to green algae and these cells are around 10 micrometer in diameter and half of their volume is occupied by the chloroplast which is cup shaped. So the correct answer is the A cup shaped. I hope you have got the correct answer. So what is your score now? Now move to the second question. Which alga is known as C. lettuce? Option A. Fucus B. Colerpa C. Alva And D is Perina C. lettuce actually these are the marine algae which are found on rocky shores. They get attached to stones, rocks etc. And it is also an edible algae. And out of this, the option which is correct is the option C. Alva, they are also called C. lettuce. So that was a very simple question. I hope you have answered it correctly. Question number three. Which one of the following is a colonial alga? Option A. Ulothrix. B. Spirogera. C. Volvox and D. Chlorella. Out of these four options, one is colonial while the other three are filamentous. Now, tell what is the correct answer. The correct answer is C. Volvox. Ulothrix, Spirogyra, Chlorella, these are filamentous while Volvox is the Colonial algae, a single colony of Volvox looks like a ball of diameter about 0.5 mm. Next question, question number 4. Manitol is a reserved food found in. Options are Gracilaria, Porphyra, Chera, Fucus. The algae, they all have got reserve food in their body for their future requirement. The primary product is usually polysaccharide and mannitol 
is a complex polysaccharide which is stored in the brown algae which belongs to Phaeophycaceae. So among this, the option which is correct is the option D, Fucus. Fucus, these are brown algae and they grow on the rocky seashores. So, so option D, Fucus is correct. I hope you are getting your correct answers. Question number 5. Which of the following contains chlorophyll A, D, phycoerythrin and phycocyanin? And your options are A. Chlorophyta, B. Pheophyta, C. Rhodophyta and D is Bacillerophyta. The algae they differ in the type of pigments. Different algae of different classes, they have different pigments and this chart shows the algal group and the pigment chlorophycacy members, they have chlorophyll A, B, beta carotene, xanthophylls. Xanthophycase, they have chlorophyll A, beta carotene, xanthophylls. Bacillerophycase, they have chlorophyll A, C, beta carotene. Pheophycase, the brown algae, they have chlorophyll A, C, phucoxanthine, beta carotene, xanthophylls. Rhodophycase, the red algae, they have chlorophyll A, chlorophyll D, beta carotene, phycoerythrin, and phycocyanin. Then the mixophycase, they have chlorophyll A, beta carotene, and phycocyanin, and phycoerythrin. So, here we can see that the rhodophycase, which is the red algae, they have chlorophyll A, D, beta carotene, phycoerythrin, and phycocyanin. So, here the correct option is the C, rhodophyta. Question number 6. Which the following is rich in protein? The option A, Eleutrix, B, Spirogera, C, Nostoc, and D is Corella. There are some algae which are very rich in protein. They are cultivated as the SCP, the single cell protein. Among these, chlorella is an algae which is cultivated as the single cell protein. It has around 50 to 60 percent of the protein and it also has all the nine essential amino acid. In addition to this, it also has the vitamin B12. So, correct answer here is D, chlorella. Question number 7. Compare the algae alkyl product with the most appropriate economic importance associated with it. Choose the correct option. So, here there are two columns. On one side, there are the name of the algae. And the other side, there are the economic importance of the commercial product. So the algae, they are coralline algae, cyanophation members, keraginine, algae. The other column is A, ice cream, salad cream, B, cosmetics, C, biofertilizer, D, liming the soil. Now what you have to do, you have to match this uh, one with all these, this right side with the left side. And here different combinations are shown in the options. So now we will start matching. So the coralline algae, it are the corals. These corals, these are rich in the magnesium and calcium carbonates. So they are used for the treatment of the acidic soil. So coralline algae matches with the liming the soil. Next is the cyanophation members. Cyanophation members, these are actually, these are the members of the green algae and uh, these, sorry, the, sorry, the member of the blue-green algae and these are used as the biofertilizer. Then next is the carrageenan. This carrageenan is used for the production of certain cosmetics, the toothpaste and the shampoos, etc. Then next is the algin. The algin is also called alginic acid and is naturally occurring edible polysaccharide found in the brown algae. This is used as a gelling agent. So it is used in the ice creams and the salad creams. So when we see this matching out of this A, B, C and D, the option A seems to be correct. It is correct. The one matches with D, two matches with C, 3 matches with B and 4 matches with A. So that was a bit of complicated question. It is 
neither too easy nor too difficult but if you practice you can attempt it properly so be careful while attempting these types of questions now next question question number 8 what is the mode of sexual reproduction in chlorophycaceae option a oogamous b in isogamous c isogamous and d is all of the above so we have to tell how does this chlorophycaceae members they reproduces sexually now let's see what are these different types of gamete gamete means fusion so isogamous means the fusion of the similar gametes then an isogamous means the fusion of dissimilar gametes they are differing in their size and shape then the oogamous means there is the fusion between a small non motile and a large non motile gamete so the members of chlorophycaceae they reproduces by all of these three modes different member of this class reproduce differently so the option d all of the above is correct question number 9 ulotrix reproduces it produces a isogametes b heterogametes c an isogametes and d is basidio spores Ulotrix reproduces by all the three methods. Vegetative reproduction is by fragmentation. Asexual reproduction is by the formation of zoospores, and sexual reproduction is by the formation of the gametes. And Ulotrix produces the isogametes. So the option A is correct. Next question, the question number tenth. Each of the following has non-flagellated isogamous gametes. The direct, simple question: the option A, Spirogyra; B, Chlamydomonas; C is Volvox; and the option D is Fucus. Here, the Spirogyra is correct. Spirogyra is the green algae filamentous free floating algae and sexual reproduction is by the production of the non flagellated isogamous gametes so the option a is correct question number 11 find the incorrect statement now attempt these questions very carefully because here it is asked incorrect the four statements are given out of these four statements three are correct and one statement is incorrect so you have to tell which statement is incorrect sometimes the students they read the statement and the statement the first or second statement or the uh, statement which seems to be correct they mark it as the answer correct answer but actually we have to find out which one is the incorrect statement so here the statement a agar agar is produced from gracilaria b chlorella is used in space food c mannitol is a food reserve of rhodophycaceae d alginate is produced by algae so three statements are correct and one is incorrect a is correct b is also correct and d is also correct the statement which is incorrect is the c mannitol is not a reserve food in rhodophycaceae but here there is a special type of starch so this starch is the reserve food in the case of the rhodophycaceae that starch is the actually it is the uh, laminarin or it is also the floridian starch so here the option c is incorrect question number 12 iodine is obtained from what is the source of iodine a ulotrix b actocarpus c laminaria and d is eudogonia so out of this the source of iodine is a brown algae that is the laminarin so it is used as a supplement for the treatment of the iodine deficiency also now question number 13 the incorrect match for chlorophyll type is again the type of the chlorophyll is asked and the different type of the algae is given 
द ऑप्शन ए क्लोरोफिल ए ग्रीन एल की क्लोरोफिल डी डायटम्स क्लोरोफिल सी डाइनोफ्लैजिलेट्स एंड ब्राउन एल की क्लोरोफिल डी एंड दी रेड एल की सो आउट ऑफ दिस वन मैच इज इन करेक्ट ऑल द थ्री मैच दे आर करेक्ट सो हेयर द इन करेक्ट मैचिंग द इन करेक्ट क्लोरोफिल इज द क्लोरोफिल डी इन डायटम्स द डायटम्स दीज आर द गोल्डन ब्राउन माइक्रो एल्के एंड ड्यू टू कलर ऑफ दियर प्लास्टर ड्यू टू दियर पिगमेंट कॉम्पोजिशन दे कंटेन फ्यूकोजेंथिन दैन विच मास द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द क्लोरोफिल ए एंड सी सो क्लोरोफिल ए एंड सी इज प्रेजेंट इन डायटम्स इन एडिशन टू दिस फ्यूकोजेंथिन इज प्रेजेंट बट डी इज नॉट प्रेजेंट सो हेयर द करेक्ट आंसर इज डी Sorry, B. The chlorophyll D is not present in diatoms. Question number fourteen. Isogamous means A. Both the gametes are similar in shape. B. Both the gametes are equal in term of motility. C. Both the gametes are similar in size. D. All of these. So the isogamous means the gametes they are similar in size, they are similar in shape, and they are also either the motile or the non-motile. So here all the three options are correct. So the answer would be D. All of these. I hope you are getting the answers correctly. Question number fifteen. The non-motile greatly thickened asexual spores of algae are called. A. Hypnospor, B. Aplanospor, C. Macrozoospor, and D is Microzoospores. Actually, these uh, thickened spores these are present in Chlamydomonas. So it uh, when it reproduces, then it reproduces asexually by formation of the zoospores. When zoospores lose their motility, then they become aplanospores. and in certain green algae when they have thickened wall so they this asked thickened asexual spores so when they have thickened walls in the aplanospores then it is called hypnospore so these are the resting spores which are present in the dormant stage so here the correct answer is the A hypnospores. Now tell me what is your score. You can write your score in the comment section. And here I have made a meter for your score. If you have scored less than ten, then you are in this range, the red or the yellow. If you have scored greater than the ten marks, I'm talking about the percentage because here there were the fifteen questions. So if you have scored more than the fifty percent, then you are in the green range. So if you are in the lesser range, then improve. And these type of quizzes, the multiple choice question, will certainly help you in the improvement of your score. So that is all. For this algae MCQs, see you in the second part of the MCQs. Till then, bye and take care. Best wishes for your exam.